When you contrast the aging Hubble with the future James Webb Space Telescope, aka JWST, you can see just how different they are. Both the Hubble Space Telescope and the James Webb Space Telescope focus on different wavelengths, enabling them to cut through vast concentrations of cosmic particles. The Hubble Space Telescope has been an essential element of NASA's research into the universe, which was deployed in 1990, have permanently transformed the way we observe the star-filled skies above us. In the following years, three engineering teams worked together to draw out a roadmap. It was determined that a reflector 6.5 meters in diameter was a respectable and doable size for the segmented mirror, and the telescope that went on to be known as the Next Generation Space Telescope was created. A number of modifications were made to the design during the next six years, including the renaming in 2002 to celebrate the famous leader of the Apollo missions, James Edwin Webb. As a result of NASA, ESA, and CSA working together on the JWST, it has a wide range of deliverables to meet. Analyze how the universe came to be, as well as the first celestial objects that appear following the Big Bang. Delve into the atmospheres of exoplanets. Look into the formation and evolution of galaxies. Discover whether there is dark matter lurking in the universe. And finally, photos of our solar system. If the JWST is to have a destiny, what sort of things will it have to deal with? We're getting ready for a big year, because the initiative will go live in December 18, 2021. Even the most critical telescope components have now been completed, including the gold and beryllium mirrors and the enormous motherboard that serves as the telescope's backbone. In November 2015, the mirrors first was mounted on the facade. With over 1,000 individuals from over 17 nations working on it, the JWST has taken a long time to be built, but when it began, it succeeded in fueling a community of collaborators who are excited about pushing the boundaries of contemporary space engineering. It is very critical that the instruments of the JWST be kept at a temperature of less than minus 223 degrees Celsius in order for them to work. When conducting a halo orbit, the JWST utilizes a solar concentrator to protect itself from the sun's harmful heat and radiation while also blocking the sun's blinding light. The captain-based sunshield has five layers, polyamide-coated aluminium in which doped silicon is mixed, which reflects sunlight to avoid heat buildup. Mirror is the most important feature of the JWST, as it's necessary to gather all the light from a 13.7 billion light-year distance away to see the creation of the universe. The mirror that size is significantly heavy, hence the JWST developers decided to use an 18-sided segmented mirror. Each one is fashioned from beryllium and gold-coated to boost its infrared reflection. One enormous instrument is created from a set of smaller segments, each weighing as few as 20 kilos. Webb is frequently referred to as Hubble's successor by NASA, and the mission were inspired by Hubble's discoveries. The science of Hubble has encouraged to study at longer wavelengths in order to go beyond what Hubble has already accomplished. After its launch, the JWST is projected to be operational for a period of five years at most. Despite this, NASA is hopeful that the observatory will endure for at least another decade. Thank you for taking the time to watch. In order to show your support for this video, please click on the like button. To view future videos, click on the subscribe button, and if you have anything to say, please leave a comment.